Let's compare three popular lasers that are all marketed to us as crafters. We're going to see how they stack up and which one is going to be right for the projects that you want to do. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You are watching Creative Ramblings where I share simple craft projects and in-depth reviews and tutorials on craft tools. Today we are looking at three lasers. These machines are not all exactly the same, but if you are in the market, these have probably been advertised to you and you've probably heard chatter about them. It can be difficult to know which machine is right for the projects you want to create. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to break it down so you can make an informed decision. One of the lasers we're talking about today is the We Create Vision. Stick around to the end to learn about the vision and see some of the features that you won't find in any other laser. The three models that we are looking at today are the Glowforge Aura, the Xtool M1, and the We Create Vision. So let's start with what all three of these models have in common. All three of these machines are diode lasers. So in that respect, we are comparing apples to apples. A diode laser can cut and engrave all types of materials, including wood, certain metals, ceramic, stone, acrylic, paper, cardboard, fabric. There are a ton of options. Each of these machines is a class one laser. That means that they are fully enclosed and safe to use in your home. They have a hose that comes out the back that you can attach to an air purifier, or you can vent it out a window. This means that these lasers are safe to use in your craft room, which is really important to me because I want my laser here where I'm working, not out in a garage or a shop. I also want peace of mind that those fumes are either going through the purifier or out my window. Each machine has a dedicated software that's really user-friendly. All three of these have an integrated camera. So when you put your material in the machine and you close the lid, on the screen, wherever you're using your software, you're gonna see a picture of your material and be able to place your design appropriately. It's great for beginners, it's great for advanced users too, and it just makes this so easy to use. And finally, each of these machines is coming to you almost entirely assembled. There is very little work you need to do to get up and running. So now let's talk about each of these lasers individually and what they can do and what projects they're meant for. We're also going to talk about price because price is a huge component when making a big decision like this. The prices I'm using in this video are regular price, but to be fair, there are sales on all of these. So be sure to click the links in the description and that's going to take you to current deals and also some bundles. So some of these you can buy the laser with accessories and save that way. We're going to start with the Glowforge Aura, a six watt laser that is sleek and minimal with an incredibly easy to use interface. This machine has one button that connects to a web-based software via Wi-Fi, so you can use it with your phone or computer from anywhere. This craft laser is truly for anyone. It's great for flat projects or to make pieces that you can assemble into a 3D object. Glowforge makes their own proof grade materials that come masked and include a QR code. The machine scans this code and adjusts the laser settings appropriately. You can use the built-in camera to position your design perfectly on the material. It really, between that and the proof grade material, it just takes the guesswork out of creating a project. Their software has a ton of designs and elements to use. They also offer a premium version with even more bells and whistles. The working area inside the machine is 12 by 12 inches, and that's the max material that you can place in the bed. This machine can cut up to six millimeters thick. The Aura does have a pass-through slot on the side, which allows you to work with longer materials and push them through to engrave big images. This laser has an add-on air filter, or it can be vented out a window. There are no additional tools or accessories that can be added on to this machine. The workspace and material options are set. The Glowforge Aura, on its own without the air filter, is regularly priced at $1199. The Xtool M1 is a 10-watt laser and blade cutting machine in one. 
This is a great craft machine for those of us who want to do more than just laser. The machine itself is really versatile, allowing you to switch between a blade and laser. It also offers add-ons that allow you to create more. You can add a riser base or riser blocks to engrave taller items. You can add a rotary tool to engrave cylinder items like tumblers. There is an optional air assist that you can add to reduce char when cutting, as well as a honeycomb base, which helps the air flow, which helps the airflow and reducing char. The Xtool software is constantly being updated and incredibly easy to use. The camera inside helps you position your design. And Xtool gives you some preset parameters for cutting and engraving common materials. The machine can connect to your computer via USB or Wi-Fi. The working area inside the M1 is about 15 by 12 inches. That's just the machine as is without the riser base. And the 10 watt laser can cut wood up to eight millimeters thick. The Xtool M1 basic model is regularly priced at $14.99. Just like the Aura, you can vent it out a window or you can purchase an optional smoke purifier. We Create Vision is a 20 watt laser with some innovative features that I have not seen in other models. To begin with, this is the strongest laser out of the three, which means you can cut thicker materials, up to 10 millimeter thick wood. And your jobs will be completed in less time because it's a more powerful laser. The working area is about 16 by 11 inches. There are slats at the bottom to place your material and a crumb tray underneath that pulls out. The machine connects to your computer with a USB cord or via Wi-Fi, and they offer a software called Make It that's easy to use. The built-in camera helps position your design, and a list of preset cutting and engraving parameters are available for ease of use. Air Assist is built into this machine, which I find essential when using a laser, especially one as powerful as this one, so you don't burn your edges. You can also purchase a rotary attachment that allows you to engrave cylinders like tumblers. This machine will be vented out a window or connect to a smoke purifier just like the others. The most interesting aspect of this machine is its autofocus and height adjustment. When you set your material in the software, the machine is gonna rise up or lower to the perfect height for your project. There is no need to manually add a riser when you're doing a larger piece. The Vision is regularly priced at $14.99, and this does include the Air Assist. We've covered each laser individually, so you know what they can do, but how do you choose? So let's talk about the different projects you might wanna do and which laser is right for the projects you want to create. The Glowforge Aura is ideal for flat projects or making pieces that you might assemble into a 3D object. It is sleek and minimal with just that one button. The software is super easy to use. This is ideal for beginners just getting into laser crafting. There aren't any tools to expand the Aura, so it is what it is with a six watt dialed laser and flat cutting and engraving capabilities. It's going to be a little bit slower than the others, but it will get the job done. If you are a crafter and you have used a Cricut or a Silhouette, or you're looking at getting a die cutting machine, you may want to look into the Xtool M1. This is a laser and a blade cutting machine together. So your ability to create with different materials is just really big with those two features together. You have a few more options on this machine. You can get riser blocks or a riser base to raise the machine up in order to engrave taller items. It has a rotary attachment to do those cylinders like tumblers. And it also has an optional air assist to add to it. If you are looking for a powerful craft laser that is still easy to use and geared toward beginners, the We Create Vision 20 watt might be right for the projects you're looking to do. It's faster and stronger because it's a 20 watt versus a 10 or a six. It also has that auto raising and lowering and autofocus. You're gonna need a little bit bigger space to put it, but once it's there, you don't need to mess around with adding a riser or adding accessories. It's all contained inside the unit. This also comes with air assist already attached. 
I can't stress this enough. If you get a laser, make sure you add on air assist if it's not already included. It is just a game changer when making your projects. Price is a big component when comparing these lasers. So again, take a look at the individual links in the description and you will see what the current sale prices are on, on all of these machines. So we have covered the similarities and differences between three very popular craft lasers. I hope this information is gonna help you make a decision. I have in-depth videos and tutorials on each one of these lasers. Be sure to go check those out if you wanna dive deeper into a specific one. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with simple project tutorials and an in-depth look at tools that are gonna help you along your creative journey. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.